Did you know that your body, my body, our cells have a mechanism that it's very good and could aim or could help for longevity, for cancer, for cholesterol, for blood pressure, for the regulation of glucose, for the regulation of insulin, to make us really live better. And did you know that in most cases it's for free or it's attached to things that we do on a daily basis? This mechanism is called autophagy. Autophagy is a mechanism that we know that our cells have in order to repair or the whole cell or to repair little parts of the cells in the interior. And this, of course, it's going to be very beneficial because when we have a process, when we have any, any specific part of the cell that it's not working well, as in any other thing, if you have something in your house that is not working well and you stop for a moment and repair that, then everything's going to be functioning well again. But autophagy is something that a lot of people start saying that this is the only mechanism that you need to do. And if you do this, you are going to have autophagy and you're going to live forever. Or if you take all of this bunch of supplements that I'm taking and that you should be taking them too, it's going to be the only way in which you're going to have this benefit. And the reality is that we don't know for sure which is the specific and only mechanism that it's going to work. We know that this is real. We know for several studies that this is a mechanism that it's real in cells, but we don't know for sure. We don't have a clinical trial yet. So we are still waiting and all that data, it's about to come. But today, 2023, December, we don't know this for sure, but we have ideas. When did this all started? This all started back in around the, the beginning of the 1990s, around 1992. An investigator, Dr. Yoshinori Osumi in Japan, he found out working with yeasts that they had this mechanism, this microorganisms had the mechanism to self-repair. When I was there, I had a biology class at the Tokyo University. Always I started my, to uh, my lecture from this question. How, m how many blood cells are made per only one second in our body? Uh, you can easily calculate within a few minutes. Okay. Well, the answer is uh, red blood cell is made uh, three million cells per second. And how about hemoglobin? Hemoglobin is a 10 to the 15th uh, molecule per second. So they started working and they started seeing also this mechanism in rats in monkeys. And there have been different investigators, investigators such as Dr. Walter Longo also, that have demonstrated this mechanism of autophagy attached to things like longevity, to things that make our cells live more, but then also live more, live better. So we have the two things that we need to be aiming for, which is lifespan, but also with health span. The two things, live more, but live better in those years that I'm living more. What are the, the benefits of autophagy? We find benefits for lowering or controlling blood pressure. We find benefits in cholesterol, in triglycerides. We find benefits in chronic inflammation. We're going to find benefits in the control of blood glucose, in the control of insulin. Why? Because there is something in which when we start doing fasting, and we're going to talk about this, we're going to have these benefits. The other benefit, it's going to aim and it's going to help for the transmission of all the neurological signals in my brain, in my central nervous system, but also in my peripheral nervous system, in all of the connections, especially also something that to me is very important, and it's all the benefits in the autonomic nervous system, and all the balance and the control and the sympathetic and the parasympathetic in order to bring balance in, all, in both systems which is absolutely necessary for having a good health. A lot of people are looking for detox, 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 and buying a lot of things to get detox. But when we induce different mechanisms in which I allow my body to be taking care of itself, to me, autophagy is like when, when you're a Saturday waiting, maybe you're kind of bored and you say, what do I do? I don't have nothing to do. And then you start fixing things. You go to, to your nightstand and you open the door and you start fixing and you say, oh, this is garbage. Or maybe you go to your closet and you start saying, hmm, I don't wear this anymore. 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 And then you do a cleanup of all the things that you do wear and you just 
throw away or give to someone else all the things that you don't wear. It's also going to be very beneficial for stress response. The body, I just mentioned, the autonomic nervous system. We have a lot of stress and a very lack of repair in our body. We need to bring balance again for these to occur. Autophagy only occurs when we have the adaptation to good levels of stress. When we have very high levels of stress, we lose that adaptation and we start losing the capacity to respond. When autophagy occurs, when I bring all these mechanisms so autophagy can occur, occur I'm bringing all that adaptation back into my body and then I have a good response. But now, doc, I want to know how to achieve this. We don't know for sure. Again, we don't know for sure when, which is the very specific moment in which you do A plus B plus C and then boom, it's going to start. No, but we have clues. We know for sure in microorganisms, we know in worms, we know in rats, we know in monkeys. Which are those mechanisms? The first one and probably the most, uh, the, the one that most people talk about is fasting. Again, I'm putting everything from the outside not coming into my inside all of these growth factors they stop because i'm not stimulating them by the things that i'm eating of course glucose is going to be more control we know that fasting can induce this but we don't have a clinical trial showing in enough people that after x amount of hours that autophagy was started and then you're going to have all this mechanism i've even seen people saying look if you fast for a week, 25% of your cells are going to re be renewed. So if you do this four times a year, then you're going to have 100%. No, that's math. Very good at math. <laughs> but that's not the case. The other thing that it's very helpful and it has been shown several times, it's with exercise. When we exercise, especially when we put a mechanical tension or mechanical stress different types of exercise cardiovascular especially zone 2 exercise but also lifting weights has been demonstrated by that stress that it induces that response from our cells but it also induces that when i'm recovering when i'm repairing myself i'm going to get all the benefits and i might enhance with all the other things the production or the stimulation for autophagy there is another mechanism, which is everything that induces the better functioning of AMPK. So AMPK, it's one of those things, one of those growth factors that it's going to be induced when I have all these mechanisms taking into place. AMPK doesn't depend on the amount of glucose. It doesn't depend on the amount of protein. It doesn't depend on the amount of fat. It can be well stimulated by things like phytonutrients, like resveratrol, by the antioxidants in coffee, by magnesium, which is a mineral, by the catechins inside green tea, are different things that might induce a good response of AMPK and having good levels of AMPK or good functioning of AMPK can induce autophagy in a proper way. And also, let's remember that having a healthy anti-inflammatory diet, when you start lowering the amount of times that you eat during the day, when you bring good amounts of protein, good amount of fiber, good amount of phytonutrients, minerals, vitamins, good amount of healthy fats into your diet, when you throw this into your daily basis, into your lifestyle, when you do it, in a systematic way in which you understand what you're eating, you're going to have all the benefits that you're looking for. Again, it's not a fact of just doing one thing. It's a fact and we know for sure. And there have been a lot of studies showing that this is something that really occur. And that it's something promising to come in order if we really want to live better. So about the myths. Some people say that this is not true. That's a myth because it is true. Some people say that you need to fast for X amount of hours in order to get this benefit. We don't know that for sure too. We know that it's not just about fasting. That's a myth. It's a myth that if you're fasting for less than 24 hours, people think that they're sitting there doing a lot of autophagy. And again, don't try to focus and go just for one thing. Try to incorporate all these things. When you incorporate this, you're not only bringing or building autophagy, you're b building metabolic health, sleep, stress, cardiovascular protection, GI protection, a lot of things. So don't just go and fall for one thing because when you bring all of these things into your life, your life is gonna be completely better and it's gonna be completely different. So again, when you start training, when you start doing cardio, lifting weights, eating well, fasting, sleeping, reducing stress, reducing the amount of times that you eat in a day, two or three meals, getting all the nutrients, all the, all the requirements, it's more than enough. When you start doing this, 
and you start incorporating some of the things that I just told you, green tea, resveratrol, coffee, capsaicin, berberine, magnesium, all these things, apparently they might aim or they might help for all of this. But this is something that it's real, something that I really encourage you to have in your mind until we have more data showing for sure when, which is a point, which is a moment, and then we can aim towards that. And I will keep you posted. Before you leave, please remember that the best way that you can support us is just by sharing the video, clicking the like button so YouTube can help us for the algorithm so more people find this content. And also please remember to subscribe and to click the bell. So every time we make new videos, you're always the first one to be notified. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time. which is absolutely necessary to have a good health for having a good blah, blah. It's absolutely necessary for having a good health.